basically our, our team consisted of the members of the historic preservation uh, group and a few of the people from my particular area within Wisconsin State of Maryland, which I think we don't call SDC because that's really who wants to over and over again. Uh, so uh, my group is the GIS, the Geospatial and Geographic Information Systems Group. We do a lot of programming and provide the uh, software uh, systems for So the background in this is that the Sustainable Development Construction uh, Group basically takes uh, requests for information about historic districts and the specific ordinances or requirements that are uh, necessary to do things like make improvements or make modifications or demolitions to properties within these, these groups. This is uh, overseen by the, the landmark in particular, uh, one of the examples is the Certificate of Appropriateness, and this is a document that is required before any modification is done, and this is one of the documents that's reviewed or requested that's reviewed by the, the Historic Preservation Group, uh, given their knowledge and the information about the ordinance. In this case, uh, the uh, project this uh, consisted of trying to identify uh, savings that would occur if we could improve the process for providing uh, information to our customers, particularly about the CA process, about CAs, about uh, certificate, certificates of demolition, uh, and taking the workload off of the planners within historic preservation so that they can work on the specific details of things that require their knowledge. We identified uh, approximately $104,000 worth of savings if we could eliminate a lot of this uh, outside uh, questions for our planners. And we started this by identifying the process, the overall process for creating CRs, CAs, and CDs, these certificates. Uh, and the major output of this was we identified the data stores, that is the location of the information that was uh, created or used within the process. The second aspect, or the second phase, was to identify the process of the actual interaction between the customer and the planners. This is a very nicely uh, uncomplicated diagram here. It starts out essentially with the customer making a search on the web, and the web is our major interface for providing information to the customer. And then contacting the staff who can't find anything. The staff goes back and looks at the information and then uh, essentially uh, contacts the customer. We went through an XY diagram to determine actually what was uh, possible causes for uh, the problems that were uh, occurring within the historic preservation. Uh, Main one of interest here was the three areas that we looked at for uh, the web. That is really the web structure, that is the, the uh, way the web presents itself, the usability, the web content, the things we're looking for, and then the speed of the web, the performance. And that was taken as uh, out of scope because we don't have control of the servers, and we uh, basically thought the performance was adequate. The next stage was basically to look at uh, what the requests were for the historic preservation group. Uh, we identified the top uh, request, and if you add up the, the request for the certificate of application and process, uh, they amounted to almost 80% of the request coming in. We then did a customer survey online, looking at uh, customer satisfaction, uh, the rate, completion time. Uh, two tasks were identified with this difficult task had to do with information about the uh, project and uh, easier task about identifying the application. 37 responses came in. Of this, uh, the first, the easiest one of just finding information, uh, we found a 95% completion rate and it only took about uh, two minutes to find the information and a satisfaction of four on a scale of one to five. However, looking at specific information about an existing CA, 
we only had a, had a completion rate of 41% of the uh, survey uh, people uh, completing the task, a, a considerably less satisfactory rate of two, which is uh, unsatisfactory. So the question was whether or not the web design had an effect uh, for providing, the, or it was efficient for providing the information. Uh, taking into consideration our charts, our survey information, we basically come up with the idea that uh, over 50% of requests uh, are related to CA process or the processing application. 74% of the customers rated this as being dissatisfied, very dissatisfied. And our next step is the improvement stage, uh, where basically we're going to go in and and look at uh, changing the, the Historic Preservation's website, uh, adding GIS map information to it so that you can use it in a spatial fashion, and uh, making some changes uh, to the way that they search on this. Problems we're finding, or as we found already, is uh, integration with mapping with SharePoint. Uh, we found probably the solution will work. And then modification of the data source for uh, CA information which comes from the Posse system. And uh, we were making some changes with that into a, it's turned into a larger project. And then after that, we'll complete it with another resurvey and uh, identification of the time we spent working uh, with the planners. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much. I got a quick question. So how much of this being shared with the landlord commission in terms of your work? Shared, they actually were one of the groups that we took the initial surveys oh, good. for. Uh, so yeah, they, they saw some of this along the way. That's correct. And I guess they'll see the results too. Definitely. Yeah. Good work. Thank you.